Non-ambulatory patients displaying serious signs and symptoms will be the first ones deconned in the non-ambulatory area. Rapid decontamination is employed involving removal of clothing and a quick, high-volume shower focusing on exposed areas, skin, and hair. This should take a maximum of 5 to 10 minutes per patient. Since 85% of contamination is completely removed by discarding clothing, whether from liquid or vapor exposure, a rapid shower will likely eliminate 99 to 100% of the contaminant. Healthcare providers should follow universal precautions when treating victims and may decide to more thoroughly decon a patient if severe signs and symptoms continue. Patients exhibiting moderate signs or who have a confirmed liquid exposure will be processed in the normal fashion once the rapid decon patients are completed. Those with minimal signs and symptoms or vapor exposure will follow those with moderate exposures. Normal decon of non-ambulatory patients usually takes two to four staff and 10 to 20 minutes. The casualty's backboard or stretcher should be elevated to limit the amount of runoff exposure to the patient. Each staff member focuses on a quadrant of the victim's body, maybe using the waistline as a midline. Clothing is cut away or otherwise removed. Starting at the midline, spray or wipe the victim laterally or to the side or back of the victim. The sponge or brush used to decon should be rinsed in the decon solution after each wipe. Once the front is finished, roll the victim to the side and proceed to decon the back from the highest to the lowest point. Once the actual wiping process is complete, a liberal amount of solution should be used to rinse the patient. Then the patient is dried. The process requires 35 to 50 gallons per patient, and fresh decon solution should be used for each patient. Once cleaned, roll the victim onto a clean stretcher or backboard and transfer across the hotline into the clean or cold area.